Hello students, in this video we are going to study about what is the path traced by a projectile. We call the path traced by a projectile as trajectory. What is the trajectory of a projectile? Before we go into that, first yesterday in the last video when we studied taking a tower for example and having a height h which i said and we shoot a body or a ball from here with an initial velocity u and what actually happened to the body it traveled and it fell at the floor at some point of time at some point here we said that the horizontal distance travel is called range of the projectile a projectile is a body which is under the motion influence of two different forces one is the horizontal force taking it in this direction horizontal motion which is uniform velocity this velocity is uniform it is not going to change this is for horizontal motion right and second is the body is under the influence of gravity again acceleration due to gravity is constant and there you find that it is uniform acceleration the acceleration is uniform because with this is for vertical motion and at a given place we take g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square or 10 meter per second square as per the necessity then when we said that the body at this point vertically its velocity initial velocity is zero and it is going to come and strike it with the velocity final velocity so we said that here using the formula s is equal to ut plus half a t square we converted it as h is equal to ut plus half g t square this initial velocity vertically being zero this term got cancelled and you had a formula h is equal to half g t square once i know the h value the height of the tower i can calculate the time t square is equal to 2h upon g and t is equal to under root 2h upon g this is what we did yesterday and also i discussed about the range the body is going in this direction so what is the velocity i said u cos theta but what actually happens is cos theta this direction and the angle theta both are going to be same so theta is 0 degree when theta is 0 cos 0 is going to be equal to 1 so simply we can say the range is equal to the velocity into time see you know that velocity is equal to distance traveled upon time taken and here distance range is equal to velocity multiplied by time so simply we can say u because here the theta factor is not necessary and t is being taken from here so which you can substitute here u into under root 2h upon g then you can find the range of the projectile okay this is just a small revision of what i taught in the last video previous video now today we are going to study the next concept of it right that is the path traveled by a projectile is what shape is a parabola it is a parabola okay parabola see we know circle is there right and we know ellipse is there now we are going to study about some shape called parabola this shape is parabola you will learn more about it in mathematics also right so i have to show this actually let me draw the diagram first yeah okay let me take a scale let me draw the axis and we need two axes horizontal and vertical right this is the x axis 
and this is the y axis this is the origin now i am going to take the projectile at this point at the origin and i am going to shoot this body like this i am going to take this body see i am shooting it like this like this okay and you will see that when i shoot the body from here at an angle okay it will travel like this and fall down that means the initial velocity i am taking as u that is the velocity of projection i project it and this is angle theta theta is the angle of projection now the body travels reaches a maximum height and again falls back it again falls back and reaches the maximum point and this we called it as range of the projectile okay now this is the maximum height traveled by the projectile now the body is in motion like this now we have to prove what is the path traced and we have to prove that the path traced is a parabola it is a very simple matter we need to just do certain basic thing first this body is under two motion when i choose a point here let me take there is a point here at this point the x coordinate value is here x and this is uh, going to be y this p is determined by x value and y value at this point of p the projectile is with a velocity like this right now i resolve it into two components one component vertical component another is the horizontal component okay this is point x and y defined by it see the u is the initial velocity we said right and the vertical motion for the vertical motion the body is falling down due to g and the horizontal motion is taking it to travel a range r now let us resolve this into two components one is horizontal component i have gone back to the origin this is the velocity of projection right and this will be some other uh, value right and this is angle theta this is angle theta at this point i have taken right and uh, let me take it in the x axis draw a perpendicular i said that the adjacent component it is u cos theta this is velocity in the x direction similarly let me draw it here this is the opposite this is parallel to this right and this is u sin theta this is the y component i have resolved it into two components now when i have resolved it into two components i am what i am going to do i am going to study the motion in the horizontal direction and then motion in the vertical direction okay now first let me take for horizontal motion okay what is going to happen for horizontal motion what is responsible for horizontal motion this is the point of location this is the distance horizontal distance is x so we take the formula velocity is equal to distance traveled upon time which implies distance is equal to velocity into time here what is the distance x value x x is equal to what is the velocity which is the component responsible for the body to go in this direction that is the x component right that is u x component and u x component multiply by the time t which we don't know right and what is u x actually u cos theta u cos theta okay multiply by the time t from this i can calculate what is the time taken time taken is equal to x upon u cos theta okay now i got one equation that is i am expressing the time in terms of the motion in the x direction right x upon u velocity of projection cos theta theta angle of projection this is for horizontal motion and also we said that previously horizontal motion 
and vertical motion are independent of each other they don't depend on each other because the moment i am losing control of the projectile i cannot do anything the moment i am dropping the body now i cannot do anything so these two are independent of each other right so based on that i am going to do now for vertical motion for vertical motion let us try it vertical motion we will take second equation of motion which is h is equal to ut plus half gt square we already know that it is ut plus half gt square now at this point right and the resolution is done the velocity is coming here what is the velocity at this point resolved value what is the velocity here in the y value that is uh, sin theta that is u y is equal to u sin theta and what is the h at this point that is y okay so y is equal to u y value into time plus half g t square i hope you understand from this right let me erase this right now let me go further what is u y that is u sin theta which is vertical component multiplied by the time t plus half into g t square fine so let me erase this diagram we don't need the diagram now we just need to prove yeah so let me take this uh, equation up here y is equal to u sin t t is time from equation 1 what is t x upon u cos theta x upon u cos theta close the bracket right plus half g t square fine now let me erase this part also right plus half g t square plus half g t square i want to tell you very clearly this g is this just g positive or negative how do you decide for example if this is the point where the uh, what do you call projectile is projected it is the upward motion we take the gravitational force acceleration due to gravity g is positive when it comes from up to down but when i take a body and throw it from down to up we take the same g as minus g right so when upward motion we take it as minus g and downward motion we take it as plus g so naturally it should be minus half g t square t is how much x upon u cos theta the whole square okay now with this in this point right let me express this now y is equal to u u gets cancel sin theta upon cos theta what is that that is tan theta tan theta of x right so this is what i have got now again y can be written as tan theta which i am putting it in the bracket of x minus half g let me open it x square fine divided by u square cos square theta x square u square cos square theta again let me take one more step tan theta of x is minus g upon 2 u square cos square theta put it in bracket of x square now let us find it out very carefully tan theta what is theta theta is angle of projection suppose if i take the axis again and i project it with an angle theta maybe 30 degree 45 degree 80 degree any angle i can project that is fixed that is constant so this tan theta is a constant i will call it as a 
and x is the variable i can choose the point p anywhere i want so x is the variable so x minus g acceleration due to gravity 2 u velocity of projection velocity of projection is also constant the moment once i have now given a particular speed that's all i can't do anything is over right so that is a constant again theta is a constant so i will put the whole thing as a constant this i will call it as b into x square right so this be a constant let us say this is a constant b into x square and this is equal to y so we have a formula y is equal to y is equal to ax minus b x square this is a standard formula ax plus b x square or ax minus b x square is a standard formula of a parabola for a parabola so we can say easily conclude that the path traveled traced by a projectile is a parabola or we also can say the trajectory of a projectile is a parabola so this is what we have tried to prove in this whole thing and uh, in the next videos we will find to find out about range the height maximum height reached and the time of flight thank you so much